Hello everyone, welcome at Icewerp Academy. In this video I'd like to explain you some Icewerp web client basics from user's point of view. Let's start with new message. Some of you may ask where can we add CC and BCC recipients in the dialog? Well, to be honest they are just call-ups under this icon, which will expand them. If you use these fields regularly, you can enable to always show them in the mail compose options of web client. As you can see, this account has also several aliases to choose from while replying or composing new message. But now, let's move on onto the message itself. For sure, we can format any text in the window, but what about hyperlinks? You may find it strange that once you would put any URL in the text, it won't change automatically into the hyperlink. This will happen once you send the message. If you prefer to set what the text of hyperlink will look like, I suggest you to try this plus icon right here. There you can find additional options not only for links, but also tables, images, or Dropbox sharing link. Let's say that I'd like to send Icewerp YouTube channel URL via this message. But the problem is, the URL is not really nice, so I would prefer there to have text Icewerp YouTube channel displayed instead of the whole URL. So I'll type Icewerp YouTube channel, select the text, click on the plus icon, and select link. Paste the link to the URL, and click OK. And there it is! As you have probably tried, you can send any type of file, including pictures, from web client. Using the plus icon, and selecting the image menu, you will actually find even more featured way how to do it. Pictures can come from any URL, can be internal stored in your web client, or once uploaded to the message as an attachment, added inline to the message body. Of course, there's also a way to use drag and drop and put the image inline immediately. Let's have a look at files attachments now. Except drag and drop, you can use these dedicated icons, attach from local disk, or use item already stored at your account and attach it from web client. What is important here to mention is right here, smart attach. I saw a unique feature which allows you to send big attachments without being rejected. Actually, attachments sent using smart attach technology are not sent with the message. They stay at your Documents folder, right here, while user receive automatically generated URL where attachment can be downloaded easily. If you prefer to send it directly, just turn it off by clicking on this icon. You know, from time to time you simply need to save draft of message and continue with it later on. Ok, but where is such message draft stored? After composing new message, you can simply click on the save icon right here. Once the message is saved, you can find it in the drafts folder of your messaging folders of web client. Nice feature of this is that you can even continue on work on such message in different client as this folder is synchronized with server. So we can start message in web client and finish it in iSorb desktop client or even Outlook. None of us really like it, but it's a must to change password from time to time. Where can we do it here in web client? Well, we have to go here, to the top right corner, select our icon, and select the options. And right here, on the first screen, there is a change password button to change the password from the previous one to the new one. While talking about passwords, it's also good to know what is alternate email good for. Well, that's the email address which is used if you ask for password recovery. So set it up. Let's stay in the options dialog for a while. In the mail tab, we can find autoresponder for cases of our holiday or just out of the office. Configuration is pretty easy. Just turn it on, set the subject, and text of the message. Then you can select the time period when autoresponder will be active. 
If you are looking for some advanced features, you can set not to respond to selected addresses or switch between several modes of operation. And finally, our last topic in this tutorial, signatures. You can set several different signatures which will automatically apply to your messages. Once configured, you can then easily switch between them by using this pencil icon in the Mail Compose. And that's it! You went through all messaging basics of ISO Web Client. What awaits us now can be calendaring basics or brand new team chat. So thank you for your attention and see you later. Bye bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to Icewarp. See you there. Bye.